Hey, my name is CT. I will be starting a poker channel, um, bringing you live action and tournament play straight out of the state of Georgia. Um, here in the state of Georgia, we do have two legally operating uh, poker rooms. One is Little Kings and Queens located in Beaufort, and the other one is located in Duluth. I haven't been to that one yet, so I would not be able to give you too much information on that, but I will have to check that out and bring you all content from there. But <clears throat> do wanna give you all a heads up, my first three uh, blogs or vlogs will be brought to you from Little Kings and Queens straight from a live stream. After that, I'll be giving you a point of view action um, from there. And of course, still throw some live streams in there, some tournament play, um, hopefully some final table tournament play live stream, um, and just try to provide content for you all. Um, I know a lot of people might not know a little bit about Georgia to uh, poker play. It can get out of hand it can really get out of hand. Um, since I've been coming up here, haven't seen many 1-3 games play like 1-3. Typically, uh, they do run 1-3 and 5-5, but most of the 1-3 games um, run as 5-5s, and 5-5s run as 5-10s, and so on. Um, so um, don't, don't be worried about a lack of action or uh, a born play, because that is not something that they're interested here in the state of Georgia at all. I can guarantee you. And just to give you all a quick rundown, I'm going to play a live stream hand that I was not a part of. I was at the live stream, but I was not involved in the hand. Coming from my guy, um, Super Donkey, a.k.a. Tommy, and um, one other uh, player. Just want to let you all know before I get this started that there is a full live stream on Little Kings and Queens charity event. It will be linked in the description. Thank you. Continuing the aggression here. Makes it 45 to go with Jack six suited from the button. Does have position. Uh, Super Donkey makes the call and Sean three bets here with pocket ten is going to make it 245. Andy wasting no time making the call. And the flop comes out, queen eight, deuce two hearts. Andy flops a flush draw. Tens are still the best right now. All in is expected from Sean. And it's pretty much a snap call here from both players. Of course, Andy definitely making the call here. They pair deuces though. Tommy ready to get it in. And we're off to a turn and a river here. Andy looking for the heart. Super Donkey needs a five or a deuce. Running clubs is also a possibility. The five peels on the turn. The two pair hits. Jack of spades is no help to pocket tens. And a pair of jacks is not going to be good for Andy. So Super Donkey finds a big scoop. Taking it down with the five dues. So with this hand, we have a straddle on the button for ten dollars. I'm in the big blind for three. Um, <clears throat> I look down at king queen offsuit. I go ahead and complete for seven to make that complete ten. Uh, make that call and then are under the gun. As y'all know, this is a stream, so makes the hand a little easier. He looks down at ace jack. He raises it up to 50 
you get folds all the way around back to the button um the button he looks down at pocket fours he makes the call for fifty dollars which kind of enticed me to come along i definitely could have made this fold but king queen offsuit um got the button calling and i just decided hey i see a flop i come along we have the flop of nine ten five two diamonds i checked to the pre-flop aggressor and the pre-flop aggressor he c bets for a hundred and twenty dollars and with that bet he go ahead and take down the pot the button folds i fold and on to the next so the next hand we're going to go over here i'm in the big blind i look down at jack 10 off suit there's a straddle on the button for six dollars the small blind folds i go ahead and complete for three more dollars the under the gun player um makes the call for six it goes fold fold to the middle position the middle position bumps it up to fifty dollars and once the middle position bumps up to fifty dollars it folds all the way around back to the button the button makes the call for 50. i make the call for 50 and the under the gun player makes the call for 50. a flop comes queen eight four with two spades with me first to act i go ahead and check and it checks around and the turn card comes the bink nine that I'm looking for just to give me that straight. So now I have the nut straight. So once I make the straight, I go ahead and check it on and it checks around to the button. The button then fires out for $55. Um, with the board being so wet and so connected, a uh, club draw out there, flush draw out there, I already have the straight. Um, I'm just not willing to risk any more uh, cards being seen for, for anything less than all of my chips. So I go ahead and I shove it all in. And the under the gun player and the middle position player both fold and fold back to the button. And the button goes ahead and makes the call. And... I go ahead and flip on my cards to show that I do have the straight. Don't like to slow roll anyone or anything like that. So he does see that he is drawing at best to a jack for a chop pot. And the river card is a great card for us. No chop pot. We go ahead and scoop that. All right. So the next hand that we'll be going over here, I look down at ace seven suited of hearts. And... It folds around to me. I go ahead and make the limp call for $3. It folds to the button. The button also makes the call. The small blind and big blind uh, make the call. Big blind check. The flop comes out queen six seven with one heart. I do make a middle pair with top kicker with also the back door flush draw. So with that being said, I go ahead and I bet. I go ahead and bet 23 and the button makes the call small blind big blind fold out so now we have head up action going to a turn card the turn card comes out uh, king of heart great card for me um gives me uh, one of the hearts to my back door flush draw uh, so now I'm sitting with third pair on the board with also the nut flush draw to the ace um I could have Go ahead and continue firing. Um, actually, I probably should have continued firing, but I go ahead and check my. So I go ahead and check the king and the uh, button like also checks. The river card is the king of diamond pairing the king on the river. Um, and seeing that I did miss my flush, I go ahead and fire a river bet out um honestly not sure that was a good play i'm honestly thinking i'm more so playing against the person than i am my hand um he snap calls me flips over a queen and we toss away donk away a little bit of money next hand so the next hand i look down at is jack four of spades 
I'm in the small blind. We have a button straddle for seven. I go ahead and complete for six. The big blind makes the call for six. The under the gun player makes the call. It folds to the middle position. The middle position makes the call. The hijack makes the call and the button checks his option. We go to a flop. <clears throat> flop comes out, four, five, deuce, rainbow. So with that flop, I do make middle pair. I elect to go ahead and check. The big blind checks, the under the gun player fires for 17. Everyone makes the call except for the big blind. Big blind folds out. We're going to a turn card, which is a five. Pairs the board, top pair. Makes me think a lot more people do not have that five since there's two on the board. Um, I check the under the gun player bets 30. It folds around to me. And with me having second pair and the top pair on the board paired each other, I wanted to go ahead and just fire out just to see where I was at, how I stand, and not really putting them on a five with it being two on the board. So I go ahead and take his $30 bet and bump it up to 75. And with that bet, he go ahead and fold and I scoop that pot. Alrighty, so the next thing we're gonna go over here. I'm on the button. I look down at Ace Jack off suit. Under the gun player folds. Under the gun plus one. He fires out for twenty dollars. It folds to the low jack, and the low jack three bets to sixty-five. It folds down back to the button, and with me having Ace Jack off suit and being on the button with ultimate position, I go ahead and decide to make the call for $65. And with that, the initial razor under the gun plus one, he makes the call for 65. We go to a flop of four ace queen with two diamonds. I did connect with the board with the ace with the jack kicker. Um, the under the gun plus one player checks the low jack fires out for a hundred dollars with me connecting with the top pair with the decent kicker um, No way I can fold yet. So I go ahead and elect to make that call for a hundred the under the gun plus one player Folds and we go to a turn card turn card is just what we're looking for Just not the greatest suit, but it is a jack it gives us two pair with the jack of diamond coming out i believe that he could have been scared of the flush draw because the low jack checks the jack of diamond turn to us with us making two pair of course it brings in a lot of draws the straight draw the flush draw but with us making uh two pair on a turn just the card we were looking for is it, we have to continue betting so we fire out for 120 dollars um and the low jack elects to make the call and we go to a river card none other than one of the worst cards in the deck we get a queen to counterfeit my two pair uh so now i have an ace with two queens and a jack of diamond basically uh because I get counterfeited with, with the board. Um, at this time, don't know his hand, so we still don't know what we're up against, but we do know that that queen was a bad card for us. Um, with that being said, the low jack checks the river to us. We cannot continue to bet on this river with us being counterfeited, so we check it back. Low jack exposes ace king for the river two pair with the king kicker and he takes that pot from us so the next thing we're going to get into here um under the gun i have a straddle on for seven dollars <throat> and the under the gun plus one player bumps it up immediately to fifty dollars folds back around to me me looking down at king 10 i feel like it's a perfect hand for me to go ahead and defend so i go ahead and make that call and we go ahead into a flop flop comes out deuce 17 with two diamonds and I elected to check dark prior to the flop. Um, so once the flop shows the under the gun plus one pre-flop aggressor, he goes ahead and he raises it to $200. Pre-flop aggressor, 
with me hitting top pair <clears throat> with the king kicker i could be in bad shape here um once again this might be another situation where i was playing the player instead of the cards um but i still think it was a very decent spot for me to go ahead and make this call uh so i go ahead and i elect to make the call um we still don't know what cards we have to dodge but the turn card is a jack and the ace card is a river i mean the i'm sorry the river card is an ace and on that river card um had me really really nervous um until we showed down and pair of tens with the king kicker was good to scoop it next hand that we'll be looking down at are pocket sevens in the small blind so uh under the gun plus one he elects to raise it up immediately to twenty dollars it folds around to the cutoff the cutoff decides to make the call the button folds and back to me in the small blind i elect to set mine and make the call the big blind comes along and he completes for 17 and makes the call we go to a flop a flop of eight eight three rainbow and my pocket sevens are looking pretty decent right now but i like to check to the pre-flop aggressor and it checks through to the turn the turn comes a uh, two of diamond putting two diamonds out there and with that checking through on the flop i definitely feel like my pair of sevens are good right now so i like to go ahead and raise it up to 45 and i bet 45 the big blind folds the under the gun plus one player makes the call and the cutoff folds so now we're going two way to the river river card comes a six of hearts so four or five gets there um and that that's just about it um if you have a eight you have trips any over pairs things of that nature um yeah uh so with that being said i elect to go ahead and make a bet of 75 dollars and the under the gun plus one player thinks about it for a little bit but he decides to go ahead and make the call he makes the call i show my pocket sevens and sevens are good we go ahead and we scoop that pot all right so the next hand that we're going to look down at we have seven six suited of hearts in the cutoff position we have a $7 button straddle. The small blind folds. The big blind calls. Under the gun folds. And under the gun plus one bumps it up to $35. Under the gun plus two comes along for $35. Me in the cutoff position with 7-6 suited. I decide to come along. The button decides to flat call. And the big blind decides to flat call. We go to a flop. So the flop is Jack ace deuce with two hearts jack and the ace of hearts so not a bad flop for us at all we definitely have the flush draw it's uh not the best flush draw but it's definitely something that we're going to hang on to here so the under the gun plus one position he c bets for 60 dollars and it folds to me i think about it for a little bit i elect to make the call the button folds and the big blind decides to come along with us for $60. We go to a turn card, which is the nine of club. Honestly, right now, the nine of club doesn't mean much on this board. Um, it could have allowed queen 10 to get a open-ended or 10-8 to get open-ended. But short of that, um, that nine of club means pretty much nothing on this board um so to me i go ahead and check it and it checks around we get to the river card and the river card is exactly what we were looking for that heart ada heart is on the river and with that i'm being in the cutoff position i have the position on the table the big blind checks under the gun plus one slows down and checks it to me and i elect to fire a bet out about a little less than one third pot the pot is about 350 355 and i like to throw in about a hundred dollar bet um big blind immediately folds uh, under the gun plus one he sits there for a little bit he shows me pocket tens and he folds it we go ahead and we scoop that pot
So the next hand, we look down at Jack-10 suited of hearts. There's a straddle on the button for $6. The small blind and the big blind fold to me. I elect to raise it up to $20 to go, and it folds to the low jack. The low jack decides $20 is not enough for him. He decides to bump it up to 100 so he throws $100 into the pot, and it folds back around to me. Looking down at Jack-10 suited, I am out of position, um, but this is one of the best drawn hands pre-flop in the game. I, I, I just couldn't let it go for $100, so I elected to make the call. And making the call, the flop comes out. Queen-9-deuce with two clubs. I flopped open-ended, so I let the check, and the pre-flop aggressor, once again, bets $100. Me getting the flop that I was looking for, flopping open-ended, even though it was two, uh, three black cards, no red cards, I can still live with it. We have um, open-ended, I elect to make the call. We go to the turn card, and the turn card is just what I was looking for, the eight of spades. Of course, you all can see I got exactly what I wanted. I got the straight, the nut straight, but I couldn't be too aggressive and bet out first. So I checked to the aggressive guy that was on the table, the one that was betting, and it checked through. We go to the river card, and it's a total blank. Um, and with that being said, I couldn't allow him to get to the river for free. I had to charge him some form of cash. So I elect to put $250 in there with the best hand possible. Let's see if we can get a call out of him. He sits there and he thinks. He thinks. He talks to himself. He talks to me. He tries to get information. He asks him questions. And finally he makes the call. I immediately flip over the nuts, show him I have it, and we add to the bankroll. But no matter what, he's always a good sport about it. Win, lose, or draw. Andrew's a good guy, as you can see here. In for 420, out for 1475 for a profit of $1,055. Not bad for three hours of live stream.